what if I told you that this entire background, I mean, everything that you are seeing right now in this studio, is not real. It's fake. That's right. This is what my video actually looks like. The best part, it's completely free. And you can do this too in just few minutes. In this video, I'll show you three simple ways to enhance your background. First one, how to create a new realistic background with AI. Secondly, how to remove your background completely if you want a clean look. And thirdly, how to enhance your natural setup. That is, if you already have a good background, but you just want to make it pop more on camera. Timestamp are below in case you need them. Let's dive in. First thing first, keep your setup simple. Make sure you are filming in a very simple and plain background. Even if you have something like a window frame, just like I do, or a simple wall behind you, that is fine. Remove anything that doesn't need to be there. No need making it complicated. The simpler your background, the better your final result will look. And also, plan your hand movements based on the background you are changing to. Before filming, think about how you will move your hands. If you are replacing only part of your video, like the upper half, you can move your hands freely in the bottom part, just like this. But if your background includes objects like shelf or a desk, just like this one right now. Make sure your hands doesn't go over those areas just like this. Keeping your hand movement within the right space helps your video look clean and very much realistic. And also do your editing first before changing or removing your background. Make sure you have done everything else, color grading your video or removing unwanted parts. All of it. The background removal should be the last step before exporting your videos and posting. If you try editing after removing your background, it will ruin your final look, which you won't like. And now, after filming, take a screenshot, preferably from the best part of your video. Here is where it gets interesting. Head over to Adobe Firefly. This is it right here, adobefirefly.com, right? This is the interface. This is how it looks like. Scroll down. This is the different options, different AI options, and this is literally how it looks. Here, we're going to choose Generative Fill. Click on it and sign in. You use your Gmail, right? To click and continue, your date of birth and your contact me via Gmail, and that is it. Reload and open up. So right now we are in the generative field. So click on upload image right here. So you open up your image right here. And this is it here. Get started, right? So right here, this is where the magic happens. So right now, you clean up this place. Use the brush to brush out the parts that you want to replace. I already made a mistake. So what do I do? I'll click on subtract right here and remove everything and start all over again. So if you make a mistake, just click on subtract and remove everything. Just the one I'm doing right now. Okay, so I'll click on add and then use the tool brush to brush out this window, right? So this place and this place. So this is it right here. And over here, you paste your prompt. Tip number one, plan your prompts ahead of time. You can prepare them using ChatGPT or simply write them out in your notes so you can easily copy and paste. And note, you can also try different prompts because each one gives you new creative background options. Paste my prompt and then click on generate. Wow. This is white. Oh, wow but I really do not like it, so I'll click on more. So it will give me another set of options and another different options. Okay, so this is another different one. Mm. Okay, oh, this is actually not what I really wanted. I love this one, but this one, I really do not like it that much. So, but anyway, let me just click. Click on keep. Once you click on keep, then you download. Let me use this one. Okay, then I just clicked on keep and then download right here. This is fine. This is okay at least. Let me give myself some space. Let me copy right here. I will paste my prompt and generate. 
Oh, 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 this is, <laughs> this is amazing. Mm. I love white, actually. So I'll quickly tweak my prompt. Yes, I really do not like any of these, but let me click on more. Let me see if it will give me something better. If not, I have to change my prompt. Mm, mm, mm. This is amazing. Oh, no, no, I don't like this. This is beautiful. Let me click on keep and click on download right here back. Let me go back, click on import image and re-import that same image. Yes. So this time I'll be brushing this one and pasting another different prompt so that here will look better than the point. Wow, this is amazing. Oh my god. Let me click on more. But I love this. This is good. No more options, but I love the first one. No. Oh, this is amazing. Wow. I like this. And I like this. I'll go. I'm confused. I don't know what to go for. Let me use this. Let me so I'll click on keep and then download. Now let's import our background. Simply click on import and bring in your preferred background. Okay, this is nice. Should we use this? Let's check out another one. Let's check out the third one. Okay, this is better, right? Let's use this. Okay, so all you need to do is to drag it beneath the video, right? Drag it beneath your video. It won't be visible. All you need to do is to click on the video, click on mask, and then rectangle. Then adjust the rectangle mask to fit the video and that is all. No stress, nothing. Just this and you are good to go. Okay, feel free to use the feather arrow right here to you know adjust and then go scroll down and go to feather right here. Okay. Can make it five, you can make it ten. Let's do ten. Let's see how it looks. This is amazing. This is nothing short of amazing, right? Wow, wow. This is beautiful. <laughs> so feel free to use the feather. It will depend on your background and how it appears, right? So this is it right here. And if you don't have a laptop, don't worry. You already know I'm big on phone users. All you need to do is to film your video, edit it with your phone, and take a screenshot of the video. Use someone's laptop around you. Generate your background on Firefly and then send it back to your phone. Easy, right? Exactly. Go to CapCut. First of all, import the picture that you want to work with. The picture should be on top. Adjust it and then and overlay the video now once you overlay the video adjust it to fit the screen tap on the video and go to mask just like we did with the laptop click on mask and rectangle right then adjust it so this is it right here the feather arrow is still here you can move it a bit the more space, the better. Okay, and this is too much. The feather is too much. This is beautiful. Okay, so this is it right here. Here is a quick tip. If you are always filming in the same spot, just like me, you do not need to keep generating new backgrounds every time. Just save the background images you created just once and reuse it anytime you are filming in the same spot. So even if you go out, that is fine. But whenever you are in the same spot, use the same background. It not just keeps your setup consistent, it also saves you time. You are welcome. And that is how you use Firefly to create amazing backgrounds using both your laptop 
or your phone. If you have learned something new, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It helps YouTube show it to more creators like you who will find this video helpful. Now, let's head over to how to completely remove your video background for when you don't want any part of your original background to appear in your video. Remember, all the same things still applies here. Your hand movement lightning and camera setup and also try not to move too much keep your background neat and make sure your camera stays steady if you have a tripod use it if not keep your phone in one fixed position till you are done for lightning also note lightning is key and natural light works perfectly film your videos near a window open your doors or step outside during the day for best result next thing head over to leonardo ai this is leonardo ai right here tap on it and log in using your gmail click on create i'll paste my prompt right here as always, you can try different prompts here to get the best result. Each prompt also gives you different background options. Click here. It's generating. If you have watched my recent videos, you must have known that Meta AI is doing very well in generating images. So you can either use this or as well Meta AI. Now, this is it right here. This is very beautiful. I'll click here and download. After that, you are bringing the image to Canva. YouTube. YouTube thumbnail right here. We are using YouTube thumbnail because your video will be on YouTube size. Basically, all we are doing here is just to import and size our video background, right? So, tap here and import your picture, right? So, simply adjust it. Our video background is ready and beautiful you can decide to zoom more or less right it's totally up to you and also you can actually blur background here you simply click on the video move left and tap effect click on blur whole image click on whole image and then adjust the intensity of the blur for me this is okay right Click here and click here and download your image. Once done, export your image. Go ahead to open up CapCut. You can do this using your laptop, your Android phone, or your iPhone. And also, you can do this using CapCut, InShot, Filmora, Adobe Premiere Pro, any video editing app of your choice. Click on New Project and import your image. Ready? It's in YouTube size. But Let's just make it YouTube size. Adjust the image, import your video. Once you import your video, you remove the background. Auto cut out and everything is out. Adjust your image to fit the screen and this is it right here. Capcut is actually doing a very good job. You can decide to fit it more or less. This is totally up to you and as you can see, it did a very, very good job. You won't even know that this here is generated. Like, it's very, very clean. This is another way to remove your background entirely and still appear very, very good on videos. Wait for it to apply and remove background completely. So now it's completely removed and as you can see, it's very, very amazing. I mean, CapCut is actually doing a very good job in background removal recently. So yeah, that's how to completely remove your video background and replace it with something clean and professional. But maybe you are like, Success. I actually like my background. I just want it to look better. That's exactly what we are working on now. Sometimes your video might just look dull or the lightning might not really bring out the best in your background. So what do you do? You can use any video editing apps to do this too. As you can see, this is my video right here. It's very, very okay. The background is fine. It just need a little touch. Click on the video. Start by increasing the volume. Scroll left. Click on retouch and face. You can either use the automatic one, which is this, or you do it manually. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's use this, right? Then go to adjust right here. Brightness, increase. 
contrast a little bit, saturate, brilliance. You can decide to add a little, just play with it. Anyone that is not fine, just leave it. Sharpen a little bit, graph, you increase the brightness, right? Go back, go to shadow and reduce. Temperature, you reduce or you increase. Just play around with these things, right? There is no fixed way to do it. This one, you increase or you decrease just a little of it all. Then you can come back and start all over again, depending, right? So this is it right here. As you can see, this video is now better than it was when we edited it, right? So this is how to actually increase your video brightness without having to remove background or add anything to it. You can also go a little further by blurring your background slightly. That makes you stand out and gives your video that soft cinematic look. But you need Capot Pro to blur the background so you can skip if you are on a free plan. All you need to do is to duplicate this clip. Right, tap on the video and duplicate right here. Then this duplicate, make it an overlay. Then move it back. Tap on this one, click on effects, video effects, and blow. Remove the background of this one. Remove the background of this one right here. Okay, so this is what we have here, right? You can you can decide to reduce the blow a little bit, right? You can decide to reduce the blow or increase it very much. So it's totally depending on your background right but this is fine right here this little blow is perfect right so this is it okay this is perfectly fine as you can see my video is on the next level and looking so so much amazing as you have said it's super easy to enhance your background and make your videos look so much better if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my helpful tips and of course i know you like to see me in my next video so see you there bye -a.